Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to Kinap Live broadcast from our headquarters here in New Taipei. I'm Rezon and here today with us we have two special guests is uh, from IEI, uh, product manager Brian and from Intel FAE Sherman. Hi. Hey. So we are going to talk about a really interesting topic today and later on we also have one of our product managers that is going to join us and he will be introducing another part into more details and to announce the topic for today I'll just move on it is the inference with the Intel OpenVINO on the QNAP NAS as an inference server and then we will be using uh, talking also about the IEI accelerators to uh, speed up the AI development with the Mustang accelerators that we have one is a VPU and the other one is FPGA if I'm not wrong but uh, to talk about the inference uh, for the layman or just to understand it better I just want to say that it's a, a component of a system that actually applies a uh, logical rules on a knowledge base to deduce the information uh, actually this all for the uh, to uh, use the uh, enable the human vision right and for that we move on to see the topic for today is the AI inference so we have the first part by Intel Sherman is going to talk about the Intel OpenVINO toolkit and then we will talk about the II Mustang Inference Accelerators and the third part which uh, Kevin will be joining us later on the QNAP OpenVINO Workflow Consolidation Tool on the QTS 4.4 so Intel OpenVINO Toolkit please Thank you. Um, hello everyone, I'm uh, Intel FA Sherman. Yeah, today I'm glad to be here to join this uh, live streaming. And uh, today I'm going to introduce our uh, OpenVINO toolkit. It's a very uh, good in uh, toolkit. I will talk uh, the, the function in detail later. Yeah. So firstly, uh, what is in Intel OpenVINO? Intel the, uh, stands for the um, OpenVINO stands for Open Visual Inference and Neural Network Optimization. So you can see uh, there is a visual, this word, and inference. So it mainly focuses on uh, some visual uh, solution. And it's a very good uh, software toolkit to develop about a visual uh, product. So um, we have uh, three focus. Uh, the, uh, the, the first one is uh, OpenVINO toolkit can drive high performance and can perform AI uh, application at the edge. And the second one, it, it has um, uh, optimized uh, deep learning uh, inference. So you, you can do any kind of um, uh, deep learning inference technology uh, with, with uh, OpenVINO toolkit. And last one is uh, support heterogeneous, heterogeneous uh, platform. You, you can uh, distribute um, your uh, workflow on CPU and you can also di distribute uh, the the some workload uh, in FPGA side, so it's very convenient. So basically, um, OpenVINO is a software toolkit to accelerate um, the development of uh, computer vision and deep learning inference uh, on your on your platform. Yeah, and then what is the uh, use case? Uh, mostly, any kind of video use case can apply uh, this uh, OpenVINO to toolkit. For example. Uh, if you want to develop a, a video surveillance uh, solution uh, for best detection, you, you can adopt uh, this toolkit uh, to develop your own solution. And uh, uh, for some robotics retail or um, healthcare uh, solution, you can also adopt this, this toolkit to accelerate uh, the performance and the shorten uh, your development time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who needs this tool? Uh, many um, uh, some customization or uh, computer science or uh, deep learning software developer will need this tool and some uh, data scientists also need it some uh, system, system integrator also need this tool and the, this toolkit um, uh, was launched mm -hmm. in 2017 and you can uh, download it from Intel website so here is the uh, download link yeah feel free to try it and uh, there is also have an um, open source version available so you can also down download it from the link yeah. okay. so let, this is ba basically um, an uh, open video toolkit and um, you might curious curious what inside uh, the open video toolkit firstly um, 
is a deep learning development uh, toolkit, a uh, so-called uh, DLDT tool, and uh, it supports model optimizer and uh, inference engine. So firstly, a uh, model optimizer uh, can com convert um, cafe or Tencent for a uh, trend model into IR file. Um, and then uh, inference engine will take this uh, IR file to do the in inference job. So uh, both of them are optimized. So you can expect a very high performance uh, for your, your inference. And there are also some uh, pre-trained model uh, in this toolkit. If you, if you don't have a training machine, you can pick up one of three pre-trained model from uh, DLDT and you can also uh, reference the sample code. So you, you can base on pre-trained model and sample code to develop on your own uh, solution in a very short time. So except for um, the LDD tool, uh, it also includes some uh, traditional computer vision tool uh, such as OpenCV and OpenVX and Intel over a lot of optimized library and the sample code. So you can utilize that uh, to do your own solution. Okay. And there are some other tools in, inside OpenVINO such as um, Media SDK uh, for video resizing and video transcoding. It uh, leverage uh, into Huawei platform and to uh, optimize the performance uh, by using a Media SDK. And then it, it also has uh, OpenCL for heterogeneous uh, solution uh, development. And for FPGA, um, Intel also uh, embed, it enable uh, FPGA as a region card. So uh, there are some uh, FPGA related uh, tools inside uh, OpenVINO, such as um, a runtime environment and base train. Uh, yeah, so you can expect uh, a lot of performance improvements uh, by using FPGA as a region card. Yeah, so this is uh, OpenVINO toolkit, and there really has a lot of uh, different kind of software tool inside this toolkit. Yeah. And next slide, I'm going to introduce uh, what is the benefit of uh, OpenVINO. Yeah, the idea is to maximize uh, the power of uh, Intel processor, such as um, CPU, GPU, and FPGA, BPU. So we conclude uh, there are four benefits by using this tool. The first one is to accelerate uh, the performance because uh, Intel provides a lot of different um, uh, a hardware platform and by using uh, this toolkit it, it can maximize uh, the performance and it also support heterogeneous uh, execution it means uh, there are some uh, um, VP, some topology uh, that are not supported by VPU and FPGA and then uh, uh, it, CPU will, will fall back uh, to um, CPU execution. So if uh, VPU and GPU can support it, and uh, it will execute by uh, CPU and VPU. Yeah, this is uh, the first uh, uh, benefit. And the second benefit is um, it can speed up your development time because there are some optimized uh, OpenCL, uh, OpenVX function. And then there are also a lot of different um, samples, so you, you can reference it. And for software, you just uh, develop one once, and then you can deploy the software to different kind of uh, Intel-based uh, devices. So you so you just develop one time and deploy it to different uh, hardware. So you, it can uh, speed up your development time. And the third benefit is to integrate uh, deep learning technology. A lot of people would like to learn how to use uh, deep learning technology, but uh, there are some barriers. Yeah, with, with OpenVINO, you can uh, quickly um, adopt a uh, deep learning technology because uh, OpenVINO pro provides a common API. You just uh, learn this, this API and you can deploy uh, your solution on your device with uh, deep learning. Yeah, so it's very convenient. And that's the um, uh, this toolkit can uh, make uh, uh, some customization because it supports OpenCL and uh, customization layer. Uh, because some uh, some topology layer need to be customized to get more performance. Mm -hmm. So you so developer can customize customize their own layer and to get uh, more performance. So uh, we conclude uh, these four benefit by using OpenVINO toolkit. And you know uh, from some um, statics data. 
uh, dividend revenue is uh, estimated to have a significant growth from uh, 2016 uh, 655 million to uh, 35 billion uh, by 2025. So you can adopt this uh, open mail toolkit and make your uh, solution a uh, central market yeah, to get some revenue. Yeah. So that this is uh, the most important benefit uh, for open mail. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and next one, um, you know, uh, Intel have offer a lot of different type of uh, uh, CPU platform and uh, a lot of different type of uh, software package. And the, the main goal is to deliver a high performance computer vision and deep learning uh, solution. And uh, you can leverage uh, this solution and uh, apply it into your uh, AI application. So it is very important. So uh, with uh, this hardware and uh, software uh, tool, um, this tool can help you accelerate uh, your workload. You can put a different kind of workload on CPU and CPU will uh, help you uh, 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 to accelerate uh, your, your, your workload. So basically this um, um, OpenMail toolkit can increase your application performance. And it can also drive more power and uh, lower the, the cost and also speed up your development time. And uh, lastly, the most important, you can uh, enable uh, deep learning technology in your uh, platform. Yeah, that is uh, uh, our benefit. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, we would like to uh, emphasize uh, if you take open meal to give, there are a lot of uh, pre-trained model and uh, this is the pre-trained model list. As you can see, there are uh, different kinds of application such as uh, jet, uh, edge or gender uh, detection or face detection, uh, uh, license plate detection, something like that. So uh, for your design cycle, uh, you need to uh, pick up one uh, pre-trained model for your solution. And you, you, you can also leverage some sample code inside an open Vino and uh, develop your own uh, software. So uh, after your software complete, and you can deploy uh, the software into your hardware platform and you can see uh, the workload and the performance number. So you can base on it to realize uh, if your uh, platform is suitable for uh, deep learning technology. If, uh, you, if you think the performance might be uh, not good enough, you can uh, uh, choose to upgrade your CPU platform or you can pick up an uh, Intel acceleration car like a PGA or VPU acceleration car to, um, to, to get more power from the acceleration car. So that is the idea for a uh, design cycle. So yeah, this is uh, my update for OpenVINO. If you, if you haven't downloaded it, uh, feel free to give it a try. You will get more performance from uh, yeah, OpenVINO. Yeah. Yep, okay, move to the next. All right, so this was the introduction of the OpenVINO by Intel. Uh, Sherman, the FAE from Intel, gave some details there. Now we're going to see more about the uh, accelerators that we have as he mentioned, to fasten the performance on AI development by IEI, the Mustang Inference Accelerators. Okay, hello everyone, I'm uh, Product Manager Brad from IEI and I'm going to introduce our uh, IEI's AI Accelerator Car Solution. And we have two, uh, two models of Accelerator Car uh, cooperate with Intel. The first is uh, Mustang F100 A10 and uh, Mustang V100 MXA and both are the <coughs> half height and uh, half length a low profile uh, PCIe accelerator car and Mustang V100 V100 A10 uh, which use uh, Intel VFPJ chip and the Mustang V100 <coughs> MXA which use uh, Movidius Mirror X VPU chip and first uh, first, uh, I'm talk. We talk about the uh, FPGA card. Uh, Mustang F100 A10 and F refer to uh, Intel FPGA, and A10 refer to uh, a real 10 GX1150 50, uh, chip model. And this uh, serrator card use uh, PCI Gen3 by A signal. Uh, and uh, it can 
Uh, because the small size, it can deploy to two U uh, server or edge computing devices very easily, and also support multi-card uh, computing simulate, uh, simultaneously. And you can direct to uh, directly increase uh, uh, <coughs> uh, just add your car and increase your uh, performance. And also, our, uh, our Mustang F100 is very uh, low power consumption, uh, just uh, below the uh, 60 watts. And <coughs> the Mustang F100 has a very important point, is a uh, low latency, uh, which is very suitable for factory automation or uh, smart, uh, smart city monitoring. Uh, because in the uh, factory, factory automation, the produ production line uh, moves very fast, and you need to uh, process in your uh, image very fast and uh, to detect the uh, defect product and uh, field, field out. <coughs> and, and so far, the Mustang F1, F100 support uh, Ubuntu, uh, uh, Linux Ubuntu OS, and uh, it will support the Windows OS uh, very soon, and we can expect it. And, uh, FPGA is very uh, flex flexible because uh, FPGA contains an array of uh, programmable large block, and uh, rec rec it can reconfigurable inter interconnect, and that allow the block to be wired uh, together. Like many large gates, that can be in in inter uh, inter in different com uh, configurations, and. Log logic block can be configured uh, to perform complex combinational function and uh, or merely sim uh, simple logic gate like AND or XOR and many FPGAs can be reprogrammable to implement uh, different logic, function, logic functions allow allowing a flexible uh, reconfiguration computing as performed, as performed in uh, computer software and uh, so FPGA like a uh, Lego, uh, it's uh, its flexibility uh, according to the requirement of the actual application. Uh, you can build the uh, hardware component function by by the programming. And the value the value of the uh, FPGA uh, in different in field is the flexibility. When we use the neural network uh, topology. How many a uh, lot of layers of network and uh, what the decision strategy is used for the uh, final result and in different application and the different uh, design frame, the requirement for hardware uh, analysis and so the the flexibility in AI uh, field is very important and because uh, so the uh, MS10 F100 can update the uh, string topology by the uh, F, uh, PCIe interface so <coughs> we can easily to uh, change the uh, bitstream from uh, via the PCIe to uh, optimize your application and uh, uh, use a different topology to uh, to do your application such as uh, Google net or AlexNet or uh, ResNet the most uh, famous topology in the AI field. Okay, and it, uh, we just mentioned the flexibility. Uh, in the, this page, the right, uh, right block, the, it, it, uh, it's a general purpose bitstream uh, because, because it's to, it need, it's need to uh, compatib compatible to more uh, topology. So it's a uh, convolutional array with a computing block is m much smaller. So, uh, so we need we optimize the bit string for the uh, spe a specific top, uh, topology. So we can make the convolutional array uh, larger. So we can make the uh, uh, performance better. So we we have the optimized bit string uh, for uh, Mustang F F one hundred. So that's why we we say the uh, uh, flexibility for the FPGA card can make the <coughs> performance better because the uh, FB string we can update and uh, for the pr uh, special purpose. So a special purpose. Yeah. Okay. And next is a Mustang V100 MXA. 
and uh, V refer to the uh, Movidia Mirror X VPU, uh, which is a vision processing unit. And uh, this is an uh, is an uh, application specific IC, and for the image processing. And uh, MXA is uh, uh, a we have eight cores in <laughs> in our Mustang V100 MXA, so we we name the the uh, MXA. And Mustang V100 uh, use the PCIe Gen 2 by 4 signal. Uh, and uh, it's like the FPGA card, uh, it o it's also the low profile size and uh, can easy to deploy to uh, to use server or uh, edge computing devices. And <coughs> because it is, we use the ASIC uh, Mirror X and so we can achieve ultra low power consumption, it's just a uh, 2.5 watt. And, uh, Entire the entire PCIe car and just maxima just uh, 25 watt, so it's very uh, very low power consumption. You can save your uh, save your power. Okay. Yeah. And uh, because we have eight cores of uh, uh, Mirror X on board, so we can uh, ex execute uh, different topology uh, simultaneously. And so for example, we can uh, deploy four. Uh, for channel to run uh, ResNet to do uh, make object detection and two cores, uh, two channel to run run the Google Net for uh, emotion recognition and uh, two core to run the uh, AlexNet to do uh, edge uh, identification because we have uh, we, uh, a core is independent so we can run the different uh, application in the same time. So uh, and uh, this is our summary, our summary uh, form. And uh, this table we can see uh, topology uh, support list. The most famous like uh, AlexNet, Google Net, or Mobile Net. Uh, we uh, both car can support uh, those uh, topology. And uh, Intel will update the uh, topology support list uh, every season. So <coughs> currently and. Uh, Currently, the both cards support uh, flow point 16 accuracy, and uh, also the FPGA card can support uh, flow point 11. And um, because the uh, because the uh, FP, uh, VPU card is uh, an, an ASIC, so the uh, uh, Mustang V100's uh, flexibility is lower, and uh, Mustang F100 you can change the bit stream so it's, it, it's flexibility. Uh, flexibility is very high yeah. and uh, the <coughs> most uh, important the latency uh, Mustang V100, V100 have uh, extra uh, low latency like a uh, 3 millisecond in the uh, rest name and uh, it's very important to do the application uh, if you uh, application need a uh, real time to show the result and FP FPGA F uh, uh, Mustang F100 is very super suitable for your application. Mm -hmm. And the power consumption, we have uh, the Mustang V100 is just, uh, just 25 watts, and the Mustang F100 is uh, just 40 watts, and Maxima just uh, 60 watts. So uh, that's our Mustang's uh, serial cards for uh, AI applications. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Okay, okay, so we reach the end? Yeah. Okay, it's not the end actually. So we are done with the first two parts as we talked earlier. So the first part was the Open Vino by Intel. Second part was uh, uh, the accelerator cards, the FPGA and the VPU card. And at this point, do you guys want to have a break for yeah. a few seconds? And then we invite Kevin to join us. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. You hold the break.
Yeah, okay, so we are back and we have Kevin here. Hey. <laughs> he's our product manager from QNAP and he's going to talk into more details about the OpenVINO workflow consoli consolidation tool yes. on our QTS 4.4. Yes, okay. Hi. Okay, thanks, thanks for the Sherman. So he introduced about the OpenVINO yeah. and uh, the Brian, they also provide uh, about the uh, OpenVINO hardware solution, accelerator yeah. solution about the uh, DPU and Mustang series. Mm -hmm. So right now we are talking about, we based on the OpenVINO. So we create a workflow consolidation on our QNAP NAS. So right now you can come, uh, you can use the OpenVINO on our NAS. Okay. okay. So what is the OpenVINO workflow consolidation tool? So this one we just based on the OpenVINO toolkit. So we can cover the main, uh, Sherman, he mentioned about the, how the OpenVINO toolkit, how to optimize the model. Okay. So can help us to uh, accelerate uh, the inference uh, uh, performance okay. on here. So that's why, and the uh, OpenVINO also is an open uh, library. So okay. that has a, is a source code. Mm. So now the, everybody is a AI developer. Okay. So right now we just provide a is like a GUI tool. Okay. So you can just uh, using the wizard. So you just click for your anything uh, config setting. So right now you can uh, start to run the uh, inference on okay. or NAS, and uh, you can leverage for the open finals, uh, support the hardware like a CPU, Intel CPU or Intel graphic. Uh, GPU and the GPU is a very special. So Brian he mentioned about is a uh, fission processor unit. So it's a focus on computer fission because okay. OpenVINO just focus on the computer fission. And uh, another part is about the FPGA. So th right now we are support for on our QNAP NAS. Okay. Okay. So and uh, OpenVINO Intel also provide a pre-trained model. So you can you don't need to train any model on here. So you can use their provider IR and the mm -hmm. simple code. You can right now to do the inference service on our NAS. So we think our open final workflow consolidation tool can help any AI beginner. They okay. want to try any inference okay. and then they got uh, data. Maybe we just focus on computer features. So it's uh, maybe like from the surveillance uh, solution. So they can using the QVR Pro to Gonna get some video from his oh, okay. uh, home or from on the road, mm -hmm. so you can do some analyze and uh, using the open window to accelerating for the performance. So that's why we just thinking our target audience is for the AI beginner on um, inference field and uh, how to using the Intel open window. Okay, so I have a question. We can find it in the App Center, right? Yeah, right yeah. now we're supporting on the App Center. So they can download it in the QTS and they can have it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we right now we re release on the 4.4. Mm, okay. So right now, you, if your NAS is support for 4.4, and I, I can show you right uh, in the later. Oh, okay. So how this <laughs> NAS platform we, we are support. Okay. Okay. So but I back to uh, overview about the uh, open Fino workflow consolidation tool. Mm -hmm. So I say we provide a very friendly, user friendly GUI. So we just using a wizard to do the um, four step. You can start the inference surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the first step just upload the AI model. So you can using the IR. Is from the Intel, mm -hmm. or you can using the TensorFlow or yeah. Cafe. So right now in the the GUI, we, we also mentioned about this one. Mm -hmm. So you can train because uh, Intel they provide a standard format. Okay. It's calling IR, so we can help you if the Open Fino support it. So you can train help you to uh, to optimize your model okay. so to get a better performance. So the uh, step three is get the IR. So it's powered by the OpenVINO, okay. and uh, you can using the IR to run the container in the inference engine. Mm -hmm. So right now we also provide the inference preview service on the or GUI. So right now you can in this scenario you can see who are the who, uh, which people are running on the three. Mm -hmm. So we detection his face. Okay. Right now. So this is one case, and later we have a demo. Demo. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so right now we think our open Fino workflow consolidation tool, we are compatible with the hardware. So I uh, hardware's uh, Mustang as a regular car on our QTS 4.4.0. Um, okay. you know? So because we also just provide the, these three uh, NAS model. Okay. And uh, they are using the Intel chip. So uh, TS2 AAX, they are using the Xeon. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, compatible with the open Fino and uh, the Another one is a 72 series. Okay. So it's a 
it has a one is a thunderbolt or is a rigma. Okay. So they using the core. So that's why we are support for this one. And the uh, most important is for uh, FPGA and VPU Mustang series. Mm -hmm. So right now you, you can configure uh, your external device on your control panel and the download the driver. This is very important on here. Mm -hmm. okay. But QTS provides a very uh, easy way to how to uh, configure the driver because in uh, Ubuntu or Windows, they need to download it yeah. and it has some settings. But right now just in the AP, AP Center no. and on the QNAP NAS. So you can start to do the inference. Okay, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So how's, why the open Fino is really important? Because it's a, there's a benchmark provided by the mm -hmm. Intel. So if, uh, or, uh, if you do the inference by open Fino, they has a great, um, better performance on here. So we can show that there's a first uh, column is about just using the CPU. Mm -hmm. But if you has a using the open Fino, the blue C, uh, blue colors, okay. so that has a better performance improvement. Yeah, oh, that's okay. why open Fino, and that's why we want to leverage the open Fino's technology. Yeah. So the dark blue is open Fino on FPGA. Yeah. That's yeah. the highest. Yeah, highest. Okay. So that's why this uh, 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 there has a this is a model. Yeah, okay. Mod there's a topology. Okay. Yeah. Some because Brian also mentioned about this uh, uh, VGG. Yeah. Uh, Google Net. Uh, ResNet uh, and the other one. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. This yeah, is uh, topologies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now we're breaking down to our demo, but I will go through with this one because we, we right now we can analyze the fission file. Mm -hmm. So it's a computer fission. Yeah. So right now first one is a set up the hardware accelerator as that's why I mentioned before. So you need to download the driver on here mm -hmm. on our epicenter. And uh, you can create an inference engine by our GUI, just uh, has a config on uh, parameters. Okay. Okay. So you can configure. Uh, ju just can get a optimized model on here. So and right now you just because we provide a preview GUI, right? Mm -hmm. So you can upload your camera video. Maybe you uh, take from the other or uh, QBR QBR Pro, Pro, or you can download on the open data set. Mm -hmm. So you can upload to the video to the op uh, open Fino workflow consolidation tool. So you can analyze and uh, inference for our deep learning. Mm, perfect. Okay. Wanna go back to the demo? Yeah, right okay. now we can start the demo. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's move to the demo. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, right now uh, to go to our QTS. So the st uh, step one is uh, config the hardware as a written right. Okay. So first part, you need to go to the our control panel. So you has a hardware. What has a part is about the uh, expansion cards. So this one is a is a VPU mm -hmm. Mustang V one hundred MX eight, and uh, we can switch the result to the OWCT. Okay. So right now, if you switch that, so you can go back to the Open Fino Workflow Consolidation Tool. Yes. So your VPU is ready right now. Mm -hmm. So you can use it as your uh, inference engine. Oh. Okay. So in this one is uh, our QPKG, and uh, I, we have some tutorial. This tutorial is provided by QNAP or OWCT. Mm -hmm. So this part you can re uh, leverage how to do this. Uh, we have a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial. Okay, yeah. so another part is about the uh, open final toolkit. So that has lots of uh, document. And uh, this is, uh, you can download the package on here, but they only has a provider source code. So if you are not a programmer, it's hard to do mm -hmm. this in this moment. Yeah. Uh, we have an uh, open Fino workflow consolidation tool. So you just using the GUI can speed out your, um, because open Fino is speed up for the developing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but right now we are speed up more. <laughs> 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 yeah, but. Yeah, with the GUI. Yeah, yeah with the GUI. But because in the AI field, you need to try an error for many times. Yeah, it, it, yeah your model is good or not, it's fit for your scenario, it's hard to say how to say it's, it's good or not. Okay. So you can, you need to improve every time. So Open Fino Toolkit, they also provide quarterly. They will update their to the package on here. Mm -hmm. So you can download on, on this, this side. Mm -hmm. So you can check any document from here. So that's why this uh, Open Fino Toolkit is very good because they want enhancement mm. every time. So they stay up to date. Yes, they're okay. up to date. And, uh, 
the chairman, he also uh, mentioned about the pre-trained model. Mm -hmm. So there's an IR form um, with the open phenol. Mm -hmm. So that you can check it on here. If you ha want to do the age uh, recommendation or text detection on here, so maybe you can do this. But our OWCP also just provide the object detection in this moment. Okay. Yeah, that, that, they maybe I can do more on the open phenol to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Right now, the pre-trained model they also has some uh, uh, they has some information. So about their data set, how's the accuracy, how's the performance on here. Mm -hmm. So you can check it if you leverage it for their pre-trained model, uh, it's good or not good, and how to Im in, uh, improve your model in if you are using the QAI. Mm -hmm. Because we also uh, QNAP NAS also provide ts 2 ax is a uh, is an AI really much right now? Yeah. So you can using or AI to do the AI model. So you can also using the TensorFlow or Cafe to transfer to the IR format to using the Open Phenol to do the inference. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. So right now to back to our <laughs> NAS and uh, start to do how to do the inference right now. All right. So we can click the Open Phenol, create the Open Phenol engine. And right now you can we can using the Intel uh, preacher model. Okay. So you need to set up a test uh, inference name. Uh, is a name. is a name. Yeah. Is a okay. What so is the name? Write, write my name. <laughs> Double uh, R R R E Z O N E X Z O N O N. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, open female. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So right now we just. Uh, support for SSD based object detection. Mm. So that's why I mentioned, but you can try and error in uh, this GUI and uh, we select the uh, maybe like a fixed detection right now. And uh, the document is also linking link for the preacher model profile on the Open Fino website. Okay. Okay, so right now we're using the CPU app. and uh, there has a lot of accelerator because we config with the CPU right now. Ah, and uh, there has a another position. There's a mm. Brian to mention about every hardware accelerator that has a different precision can use, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe like an Intel GPU that has a oh, FP okay. uh, is a float floating point 32, and uh, 16. Yeah, so I use the CPU in this moment. Okay. Okay. So right now we create it and uh, we um, fill the summary on here. So create it. it takes some time. No. Yeah, it's ready. Oh, it's so fast. Yeah, because we're using the pre-trained model, so okay. it's compatible with the uh, open window. Okay. So we click the, this is a, another page. So click this. So we create an inference engine on here. Mm -hmm. And then we, because our open window workflow consolidation provide this GUI, okay. because in the open window toolkit, they don't provide this one. Yeah. Okay. So you can easily to upload the video on here. So um, I just taking, because our, Model is using the fixed detection, right? Okay, yeah. So we just uh, upload the video. Uh, has some guys. Uh, yeah, some people on it. Yeah. Um, okay, it's not here. So this could be useful also to get videos from QVR Pro because if yeah. we have in the office or in a shared neighborhood and you want to see the people, there, yeah, you, know, you can also use. How yeah, to do the yeah, inference yeah, yeah, yeah. function and then the color using the Intel pre model, oh, okay, right? Yeah. So we just upload it. So some guys mm. are they are running. So we are detection for their face, mm. and the list uh, normal is about the precision, because oh. the uh, the or uh, device uh, or <laughs> machine are okay. prediction. This face is a is a is a human face it's or a not? Human face, yeah. yeah. So. In some angle, is not really good for for the performance, mm -hmm. and uh, the prediction model is for Intel profile. They just provide for the general purpose. Mm -hmm. If they want to uh, improve their precision, maybe they need to train the model by themselves. Because mm -hmm. some guys, uh, their face is too large, okay. or their skin color is different. Maybe, yeah, so sometimes will influence the result. Mm -hmm. But after, okay. because our GUI provide the up how to upload the, the video, right? Another part, you can download your inference result. So if the any position on every frame and then how how large are the face size, you also can download on here, and you can leverage for this model is good or this if you uh, uh and uh, the video scenario is is also 
fit for your uh, AI model, okay. and uh, or or you can using the open Fino to uh, speed up your inference performance. Yeah. Mm. So this one is uh, for the CPU part. Okay. Okay. So right now I create another part is about the VPU. Yeah. So VPU maybe will be more faster than this one. And then this uh, okay. This one I using the open source layer model. Mm -hmm. So I need to. Uh, uh, Created by uh, in uh, in custom this moment, model, yeah. Okay. I need to use the cost model on here, okay. so they are just support for the te uh, TensorFlow and Cafe. Okay. Okay. This is a very popular AI framework. So right now is a different time. Okay. Or should I join? Okay. It's a different time. <laughs> 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 okay, it's a Kevin time. <laughs> so Kevin BPU. So this this moment we also can choosing the CPU and the, your framework need to match as the TensorFlow, mm -hmm. and uh, you can upload their, fo their format, um, their model format, is, uh, okay. so I just upload it. So you, you need to upload the right uh, Model. models on here. And then I config with this one, and uh, we also cost model, they also can provide a label file. Mm -hmm. So because in or uh, in the Intel picture model, they don't label as the house the uh, object is it? Yeah. He cannot recommend. Uh, uh, he cannot say uh, identify which one is it. Okay. So if you train a model, you got a label in the list on here. You upload the CSV file on on uh, your customer model, so you can get a better uh, ah. yeah experience. And later I will introduce about. And uh, this part I also because I don't mention about FPGA right. So yeah. I just quickly to create the FPGA. The PGA, yeah, okay. this environment is because our TS uh, TVX uh, A72 XT, they don't provide, they, they cannot use the FPGA, right? So okay. this one is on the TS2AX, okay. so they support this. And uh, just on the GUI, but most uh, special for the FPGA, they, they has a B3, right? Because oh. we can general, perp uh, we can improve in a spatial typology or model on here. So like a mobile net, he can select a, a spatial one. But sometimes you can use another, maybe like ResNet is also fit for this B3. So you need to uh, know this, uh, uh, realize how, what's the difference with the B3. Okay. So, so in this moment, so that's why I'm talking about this part. So back to this page. And uh, in the TensorFlow, there are some different with the uh, coffee. So mm -hmm. he needs some to add some agreements on here. So I just um, put it on here. So please check with if you're using the TensorFlow model. So it's uh, yeah because uh, in yeah just okay. that. So okay, right now we are creating to comfort the uh, to help you to optimize your model from TensorFlow to go to the Intel format like IR. Mm -hmm. So this is supporting by the uh, Open Fino. Okay. So it has some time. So it's building. Yeah, but it's really quick, quickly to build it. So okay. we help you to do the model optimizer right now to leverage you with using the Open Fino toolkit. But uh, maybe has some problem on here. So don't be sad because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes we'll get some problems. So don't be sad, I can do another part up yeah. here. But right now, we can save your time. Yeah, yeah okay, I okay. create one on here because we, we, sh we want to, oh, sorry. We have one ready. Yeah, yeah, we open one service on here. So Are you one. connected to the internet? Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. So this one is I using the open source model also provide from the Cocoa data set. Mm -hmm. So right now I upload a new file, but last part we are Detection the uh, human face, right? So uh, right now I can take an, take something more. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can test this one. Play it. Yeah. Okay. So right now because of the CPU they has some uh, need to processing something. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. the first time they all has a time, but right now just uh, speed uh, have a. Uh, 20, se uh, 20 seconds, he, he uh, finished the inference part. Yeah. So, but the AI model is not, every time is really good because you need to customize your data set okay, yeah. and to how to collect your data to implement, 
improvement for your user scenario. Mm -hmm. That's why we 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 thinking our open pinout workflow consolidation tool is very good because you can save the time to to uh, comment any code. Yeah. You just using the GUI to preview it and then download your inference result to build your AI yeah. application faster. Okay, that's all of my demo on here. Or you want to see more? Oh, I can upload another uh, file. All right, let's see one more. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's see. Okay, oh, this one is oh, this for the yeah. cat. But wow. for cat, it's not really his soul. <laughs> yeah, the positioning is different. Actually, yeah. uh, that's how actually I got to understand about the inference into more details through a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really? because, oh, yeah, because the deep learning, you uh -huh. have the model, you have the framework and everything. But the inference is like, okay, mm -hmm. the computer sees a, a, an object, sees yeah. something, a picture of, let's say, a cat, but yeah. it doesn't know that it is a cat, right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. it needs first the model to insert it. Yes. And then when the model is doing all the computational and processing, yeah. and then it can recognize that, oh, this is a cat. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's how I got to understand more. Uh, like, oh, oh yeah. now I see the cat. <laughs> yeah, there's a single object. So yeah, it's a single object. Easier to know how to do this. Yeah. So why, that's why we think the model optimizer is really valuable. Yeah. Because you can speed up, uh, speed up the inference process. Yeah. Because you may be using uh, maybe lots of the data to train the model. Mm -hmm. So you can speed up for the, your uh, AI model is good. Yeah. Train in the inference part. So that's why open final toolkit is really good. And uh, yeah. or open final over consolidation to help you to develop your uh, AI application in this time. Okay, so okay. maybe we can back to our slide. Yeah, let's go back. So what do we have next? Okay, so right now we just uh, mentioned about the, our QNAP NAS. Right now can do the inference mm -hmm. using the open final over consolidation. Or maybe you can using the QTS. You can use maybe like a download station mm -hmm. to download a data set and Qubit Pro to capture some uh, surveillance, surveillance video, yeah. right? So another part is that we are talking about the IEI. They also provide a Mustang as a real cards. Mm -hmm. So like a FPGA and a VPU. So you can uh, have a better performance on the computer vision inference mm -hmm. in deep learning. So, and the most important is for the Intel Open Pin Yeah. Yeah, they speed out the inference performance okay. and uh, has re uh, launched lots of uh, uh, great trip to help our NAS to have a better performance on inference. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm calling this is an AI inference ecosystem yeah. on mm -hmm. QNAP, Intel, and IEI. Yeah. 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 So, in the last part, uh, we have the computer text. Yeah, coming up. Yeah, coming up. So, maybe you can join us. <laughs> I'm here, I will be there. So, so you will teach everyone how to do this. <laughs> oh, maybe you can see the live forecast first. <laughs> oh, but I will show some demo on here. Oh, okay. So yeah. maybe you can join us. If you have uh, any AIoT um, application you want mm -hmm. to see, you can uh, go, go to there if you're in Taipei. Yeah, yeah because uh, or if you want to go through the detail, you can uh, ask in or uh, forward. Yeah, okay, foreign. Okay. We have our QA foreign. You can ask any question, and I will answer your um, answer yeah, if answer I the possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the Computex then is coming on May twenty eighth to June first, yeah. two thousand nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. And then join us, anyone who's watching this video, who can go join us, visit us in Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center Hall One. Yeah. We all will be there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So let to I think I will not do a uh, recap. I will just because we actually talked a lot about this. Uh, yeah. We got. Uh, I just want to thank Sherman from Intel yep. yeah. jo that joined us today. Uh -huh. Sherman was here. Mm -hmm. Brian was from uh, IEI. Yeah. yeah. So we we can actually Brian was sitting here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he is Kevin. Yeah, I don't know Kevin. if we have the right <laughs> tag there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't change it, but yeah. I want to thank everyone for being here with us today and yeah. showing this uh, OpenVINO platform the FPGA the VPU yeah. and Intel CPU uh, yeah. acceleration yeah. using the OpenVINO workflow consolidation tool and the QTS and QNAP NAS so I'll see you next time thank you thank bye you. Bye, bye bye, bye.